Hi, in this video I'll present my latest SketchUp extension, SubD. It's a subdivision tool that allows you to take a low poly mesh and produce a high poly smooth mesh. To start with, we toggle subdivision on. This will uh, apply a one iteration subdivision. As you can see with this cube, it has split each face into uh, smaller faces and it has softened the corners of, of the cube. Now we can increase the subdivision and we'll quickly see how it starts to look more um, spherical. And we can increase this until we have increased four times when it's near perfect smooth. We can also go back and decrease the number of subdivisions. We can also go back to the control mesh, the original mesh which you had to begin with, and make changes. Now we have a longer box and we can toggle back the subdivision. I can see how that is reflected. Let's increase the three level three and keep toggling back and you can see it's still the original simple box we had. In addition to simply increasing and decreasing the subdivisions, there is a creasing tool that allows you to control how the tool should smooth the mesh. So if I take this end and just decreasing. We'll see we have a completely different shape on this side from the other side. But still when we go back we have this very simple cube. The only thing it's changed is the creasing level for the edges of this particular face. Everything else is the same. Now, this tool allows you to model very simply, which makes it easier and faster to model, and then let the tool add the smoothness and detail later on. Um, as shown an example with a simple glass. Now, this tool works on components and groups and that component group can only contain faces. So in this case we have a component and it contains a component. And if we try to subdivide, subdivide this we'll get an error. So we need to make sure we have a component with faces. Now we're good to go. As you can see this, this glass is modeled very simply. It only has a few polygons but once it's subdivided, immediately we start to see a very smooth sh shape. Uh, at the first level, you can still see it's very rough. You can see the little edges, jagged edges here. And if you turn on hidden geometry, you see the density is still fine. Now, increase subdivision to 2 and now we're starting to lose uh, the visible jagged edges of this. But at the expense of having a much more complex smooth mesh. We can increase to level 3, which is going to take a while. See a little progress bar going. But now we have a very smooth mesh. We can toggle off the visibility and have a look at only the um, the shading. And and still we can go back to the original mesh and create edits, for instance. So let's say that we make this much taller and make 
this thing here. And now we made a simple edit to the simplified mesh and we can go back to the smooth one. Now as you can see if we had a model with this kind of density that would have made the process a more, lot more complicated because you have to deal with a lot more faces. So at any time when you subdivide the mesh you can go back to original low poly one and edit that. Now let's look at a slightly larger example. So this is uh, the beginning of a car, a 69 Dodge uh, Charger. You can see it's modeled quite low poly. You can still see the ad uh, jagged edges and particularly around the wheel wells. We only need to increase, even at one level, it's starting to get very smooth. And at two levels, we are pretty close there. And we can do some quick edits. We can do some quick edits to the creasing to create a more defined shape for this uh, scoop. Probably want to include these edges as well. Let's see. That was 1.8. Okay, we just want to make that look a bit smoother transition and we turn off the edges for visibility and we can see we have much more defined shape for this. Let's turn back. Now one thing to note about this particular model is that it's all built from quads and that's a very important part of this extension. The subdivision algorithm here is a catmull clark algorithm and it will always produce quads as a result and it will produce the best result when you feed it quads. Now SketchUp doesn't allow for faces to not be planar. If we turn on hidden geometry here, you can see that each of these seemingly quads are actually split up in triangles. This is made uh, using quad face tools that allows you to more easily manage geometry like this. It allows you to do loop and ring selection and it allows you to create this kind of mesh. So quad face tools is a free extension and you probably want to install that if you're going to use subdui. Without it, it's going to be much tougher to create meshes that subdivide well. I'll talk about this in a different video where I describe the workflow for creating meshes which works best for subdui and quad-based workflow in, in SketchUp. That was it for this quick introduction. Thank you for watching.